Today, I want to discuss a topic that's a little bit controversial, at least highly debated, and that is whether or not you can use Canva to create your TP TPT products. Now, a lot of the advice you hear is that it's strongly discouraged because their terms of use are unclear. But are they? Let's check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry from Rolling Acres Education. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. And I think that it's important that we look at this issue based on the facts. What does Canvas terms of use say and what is allowed and what is not allowed? First of all, let me say that anyone, I'm, I'm not gonna mention anybody by name, but anybody I refer to in this video, I am not being critical of. I know some of these people who have kind of said, no, don't use Canva, you shouldn't use Canva. And I know for a fact that they are coming from a place of wanting to protect you, that it's motivated by love, motivated by caring about you, not wanting you to get in trouble, not wanting you to have to take your products down and all that. And I get that and I respect that and I appreciate that they're doing that. But some of these people have been on TPT for a long time. They use PowerPoint and for them to not use Canva is not a big deal. They don't use Canva. They, they're used to using PowerPoint. They're happy with PowerPoint. And so their, their advice is we strongly discourage using Canva for your TPT product creation because their terms of use are not clear. I disagree. I think they are clear. I think uh, there are guidelines. And like, they still say that you can use them for like your thumbnails and your covers and things like that, but you're, that's still part of your product. So to me, that's more of a gray line. If I wasn't gonna use them to create my products, I wouldn't use them for anything. So I mean, I don't know. But I feel like, and some other big sellers in the TPT community say that uh, Canva's uh, terms of use are very clear. And they don't understand the big controversy, that it's very clear that you can use following the right guidelines, Canva, to create your products. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna tell you, yes, you can use Canva to create your products. And I'm not gonna say for sure, no, you cannot use Canva to create your products, and I'm not gonna discourage you from using Canva to create your products. I want you to do three things. I want you to watch this video, I want you to watch the two videos linked below, and I want you to read Canvas Terms of Use. I think if you do those three things, that you will be clear on what you are and are not allowed to do with Canva. Let's look at where the fear is coming from. First of all, it is coming from the TPT community. There are big users who say, no, don't use Canva, you're, you're not allowed to use it, and all that. But then there was also another incident that involved more than TPT users. Let me just tell you, TPT author, authors are very small percentage of people who have Canva accounts. Canva is used by so many people worldwide and one of the biggest users um, are people who sell on Etsy. And I am so thankful because those are the people who have really been on the front lines of this battle trying to get this all cleared up, trying to make it very clear what you can and what you cannot do on Canva. And the two ladies below, I trust them. I'm telling you, the one of them, she has been in the she's been in the brunt of this and she has contacted Canva. She's contacted people who have said, you know, no, you can't do this. And so I am so thankful for Etsy users. This would affect them so much more than it would us. But what happened was back in April, uh, someone who does not work for Canva, she's a Canva ambassador. And I kind of know what that is like from VIP Kid, though they had people who, you know, represented VIP Kid, but it was always very clear that they did not work for VIP Kid and that their word uh, was not to be taken, you know, 100% that you should always go back and check with the company. And that's the same thing here. I'm not exactly sure what a Canva ambassador is, but you do not just take their word for it. You always go back to the company and check what the terms of use say. So this person came out and had all this stuff and one of the things was this graphic and if I find it, I'll put it here, but she's since taken it down, if that tells you anything. And it said that you could no longer use Canva Pro elements in your commercial products and people went wild. It was crazy. People were canceling their pro accounts. People were big name. People were pulling down 
their products and redoing them. We're talking products that made them a lot of money. It was crazy. So some of these Etsy sellers, you know, came out and said, look, let's, let's calm down. Let's see what's going on here. They reached out to Canva. Canva made a public announcement because they were losing a lot of business. If I cannot use Canva Elements in my products, I'm canceling my pro account. There is no reason for me to have it. And we're talking about lots of people were canceling their pro accounts and Canva was losing money. As I said, this person has since taken that down. She took the whole thread off and there's now no reference to that. Now, I, if you watch the videos below, that graphic is in there. So you can see it if you watch those videos. But Canva come out and said, yes, okay, no, I'm not gonna give you specifics. I mean, this doesn't exactly say, yes, you can use Canva elements in your TPT products, but I think it's clear that you can. They came out and said, yes, you may use Canva free and pro elements in your designs if you you know have a pro um, pro account because when you buy that pro account that gives you license to use the things that are in Canva so now there are some guidelines and we're going to talk about those in a minute so those are the two things that have really caused people to be nervous number one if you're in the TPT community having big name people say don't use Canva and then this person coming out and saying oh no you can no longer use pro uh, elements in your TPT products I mean in your uh, print-on-demand products. Now, if you read the terms of use, you will see POD, which stands for print-on-demand. That is what we are. We uh, create things, we send them to people, and they print them on demand. So, it says you can use Canva elements in your print-on-demand products. So, what exactly does that mean? Does that mean we just go to Canva and use anything we want and sell it? Absolutely not. It has to be something that is used in your own original design and I'm going to tell you the safest way to make sure that it is your own original design there are people and I've seen people on TPT do this and if you're doing this you you, you need to stop because you can't get in some serious trouble it's like they pull a template off a of TP off a of Canva I'm gonna say T, I'm gonna mix up Canva TPT and Etsy and all that stuff so uh, hopefully you'll know what I'm saying but if I make a mistake they pulling stuff off of Canva, pulling a Canva template off, and creating products with that template, changing it up a little bit, selling it as their own. You cannot do that. You cannot use standalone products. For instance, uh, they give a great example of this in the videos, but this doesn't affect us because we don't sell t-shirts, but let's say I was selling a t-shirt and I took an element, like a cute design, off of um, Canva put it on a t-shirt and had it printed and sell it okay that is not allowed okay you are selling that design as your own you can take that element you can put some words and some other pictures and some other things and make it your own original design and then you can do that it is very clear that you can do that okay the other thing and this is something that might affect a TPT seller is you cannot take a bunch of their elements put them in a package and sell them as clip art that is absolutely positively not allowed so if you're doing that do not do that the safest thing to do is start with a blank page that is what i do i start with a blank page and i write my informational text and then i um, use elements from tp from canva to dress up my products i create my own uh, informational text, my own questions, my own vocabulary activities. The only thing I don't create myself are my crossword and word search puzzles, but I use Bearwood Labs to do that, and I have purchased a commercial license that allows me to do that. If you are pulling crossword puzzles and word search puzzles off of Canva and selling them as your own, you're going to get in big trouble, okay? Or you could. So, so number one, it has, this is the most important thing of all, it has to be your own original design. You cannot pull a template or an element off a TPT, I mean off a canvas, sell it like it is, claim it as your own, okay? You cannot do that. Another thing that has caused some confusion is templates. And that's what I kept getting told to me. Whenever I would say, you know, Canva says this, we can do this, I would get this thing sent back to me and it would be about templates. And I would be like, I don't sell templates. And 
I just, I mean, I gave up because it wasn't my membership, it wasn't my business, and I just decided to stay out of it, and that's okay. They, that was their policy, and I'm not, I'm not going to try to change it. That's their policy, and they have a right to have that policy. But a template is something that you go into TPT, and you can sell their templates if you link back to Canva. Now, let me explain an example of that. I bought a description template and a bundle cover template from Kristen Doyle. And when I bought that, she did not send me the actual template. She sent me a document that I clicked on that took me to Canva where I could work on that template in Canva. You absolutely can do that. You can buy a temp you can take a template from, from a Canva, sell it, but it has to come back to Canva. And that you have to create, the person who buys it has to create it in Canva, okay? You cannot take a template, download it, and send it and sell it to someone to use outside of Canva. I hope that makes sense, okay? So templates is definitely uh, an area that's bit, that I think that that's where some of the confusion is. But that's just, again, my opinion. Another thing that um, uh, has been in question is copyright versus rights. Make, this is one thing, I want you to pay attention, make sure that when you upload a product to uh, TPT, if you have used anything, a font, any little teeny tiny picture, anything, if you have used anything from someone else, you need to click that second box, okay? You do not have the copyright to that step, but you have the rights to use it. A copyright means you own it. You created it, you copyrighted it, all that. Rights means it belongs to someone else, but they have given you permission to use it, which Canva has given us permission to use it within their guidelines as long as we use it correctly. And so always make sure you click that second box. Do not click the first one if you have anything that belongs to someone else. I, I would just click that second one just to make sure. I, you know, unless you're 100% sure that you don't have anything that belongs to anybody else, I'd click that second box. So there's a difference between copyright and rights, okay? The third thing where there seems to be some confusion is third party. Okay, so that's somebody else said to me, oh, but you go through a third party, so you can't you, you can't do that, which even then you can go through third party, and I'll try to, let me explain that. Okay, third party. Some Etsy sellers create their own t-shirts. They have some kind of machinery, they, they you know, can make their own t-shirts, and so they print them, send them out. That's no third party. Other Etsy sellers go through Printify, and I forget the other ones, and what they do is they send the designs to Printify, and Printify, uh, prints them and either sent it to people said I don't know I don't sell for Etsy but the main thing is the Etsy seller does not print the t-shirt themselves they send it to Printify where it is printed and Printify could they're not going to they're a big business they're not going to risk their business to do this but they could take that lift that um, image and use it okay if you flatten your products, that cannot happen. We don't have a third party. You may think, oh, well, TPT is our third party. TPT is not our third party. TPT does not have anything to do. They don't mess with our products, okay? They don't, like, take our product, print it, and then send it to somebody else. They're just this place where we post our stuff. When I create my product, upload it, the next person who gets it is going to be the customer, okay? That's where a lot, I, I, I think, that people are seeing and considering TPT a third party. I don't send my stuff to TPT, they create it and print it and then send it to someone, okay? That's not what happens, all right? It goes directly to my customer. So if your product is flattened and you send it to your customer, they cannot lift those products. So I think I've given you enough to really think about. Um, again, do not take my word for it. I'm not telling you, hey, go for it. You can create your products in Canva. I create mine in Canva. I'm very careful to follow the guidelines. I've read the terms of use several times. Every time this comes up, I go back and read it. I went back and read it again yesterday. 
the, those two videos below, the people show you things in the terms of use. They show you what the people from uh, Canva sent. And Canva is not going to tell you. You cannot say, hey, can I use uh, Canva to create my TPT products? They're not going to send back a yes or no. They're going to send you back their terms of use. But they will, they have clearly said, you can use our elements in your products to sell, your merchandise for sale, your print-on-demand products, as long as you follow the guidelines, which are mostly, it can't be a standalone product. Your products have to be flattened. And there's something about the music, but we don't use music, so don't worry about that. And we also don't use a third party, okay? You can't sell their templates. You have to link back. So I hope this has been helpful, but I hope that you will also watch the two videos below because these women are so much more knowledgeable. And you know what? You might want to do an Etsy shop and they can give you a little more information about that and read the terms of use. Is that I have done due diligence to this. I've done my best to make sure that what I'm doing is okay. You have to do the same. Don't watch my video and say it's okay make sure do your own research and make sure that you know in your heart that oh this is not this is okay because sherry says it's okay it's okay because i've done my research and i believe it's okay and just remember you've got this god's got you and i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that you can use canva to create your products and i will see you in the next video bye bye